There is a wild Easter egg in the latest episode of Ahsoka that I haven't seen anyone talk about except for at Tommy J. Wall on Twitter, who was kind enough to tag me in what he found. He translated some of the Urkatat runes found on the Night Sister Tower, and they have a pretty awesome connection back to the Star Wars Jedi games. All credit goes to him because I didn't even notice there were runes to decipher. In the scene where Balin and Shin are riding away from the tower to chase down Sabine, you can see the runes written above the doorway. If you rotate them 180 degrees so they're upside down, you can translate the old Sith language. You can't make out all of it, but it appears to read, Praise Kujet, ruler of all, may his reign last for all, and then I would guess time or eternity or something. So, who is Kujet? He's part of the story of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. In that video game, Cal Kestis explores the old ruins of an alien culture called the Zepho. They were Force users that rose and fell long before the time of Ahsoka. They started as a benevolent group, but as Cal learns more about their leaders, the Zepho Sages, he can see their descent into the dark side. Their fall is represented best by a sage named Kujet. While the tombs of the other Zepho Sages are found on their homeworld, which is also called Zepho, Kujet's temple was built on Dathomir where he also had a palace. Historical records show Kujet to be ruthless and cruel, massacring his own people in the name of personal power. His actions helped lead the Zepho to near extinction. Recognizing the error of their ways, the survivors fled into the unknown regions, hoping to find peace. So the Night Sisters on Peridia have a temple seemingly built to honor an ancient Zepho sage that made his home on Dathomir, which is a very fun little connection. I don't really think the show creators are trying to hint at anything beyond that. I'm not expecting the Zepho to show up in future episodes or anything. But that's not going to stop me from speculating on the timeline and the link between the Witches of Dathomir and this Zepho sage. From my understanding, Peridia was the original home of the Dathomiri, and then I assume they came to the known galaxy and created colonies on planet like Dathomir, Arcana, and probably Setos. But I would guess they had some way of traveling back home if they wished. They may have met Kujet long ago, grew to worship his power, and then went back to Peridia to build the temple. I also like the idea that the Dathomiri may have already worshipped some being they called Kujet. Then when the Zepho Sage arrived to lay claim to Dathomir, maybe he learned of this mythical being and just took the name for himself, ensuring that he would be worshipped by the Night Sisters. I think it's kind of cool that the temple could predate everything, and Kujet just stole the name for the sake of more power. But there are other links to the Zepho that we can see throughout Ahsoka. On that very same temple, there are other runes that can be seen throughout Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order at various Zepho sites, not just on Dathomir. So I think it's more likely the temple was built or repurposed to honor Kujet after the Night Sisters met him. And I also want to point out that a concept artist for Ahsoka shared some of his pieces for the World of Arcana, where Ahsoka explores Night Sister ruins in the first episode. He included some direct, albeit crude, images of the Zepho in his art. The carvings don't appear in the final cut, but it's interesting that there was another potential link between the Night Sisters and the Zepho in the show. To reiterate, I don't really think this is going to amount to much in the series. I will be thrilled to be proven wrong, but for now, I think this is a very fun easter egg and nothing more. But it does a lot to reinforce the connection between the Dathomiri and the Zepho. I think it enhances my enjoyment of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, a game and story I already adored. It's pretty crazy that the Jedi series of games have had such strong connections to many corners of the Star Wars universe. Nur and the Fortress Inquisitorius appeared in Obi-Wan Kenobi, Star Wars Jedi Survivor revealed Seer Junda's involvement in the hidden path that was set up in Obi-Wan Kenobi as well. It has strong ties to the High Republic, and now, even though it was difficult to find, it connects to the Ahsoka series. And I just think that's neat. Well done again to Tommy J. Wall for finding this, and thanks for letting me know on Twitter. I'll link to his tweet in the description. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with all our Ahsoka coverage, follow us on our socials, and consider checking out our Patreon page for video reactions and audio commentaries for every episode. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.